Welcome! Today I'm going to be making some pulp crackers. I have a bunch of leftover pulp from some juice that I made. I put it in the fridge overnight uh, and let's make some crackers out of it. If you like raw food, you're going to want to subscribe to my channel for more interesting recipes just like this one. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Okay, so what I have is my food processor and I have about half of the pulp in here. And it's, this is a 12 cup food processor. And so it's about half, uh, most of the way full it looks like. And I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of freshly ground flax seeds and two tablespoons of chia seeds. And then I have some fresh rosemary in time for my garden. So I'm gonna add uh, some of that in too. So once you have everything in there, just put the lid on and give it a gentle few pulses. I'm trying not to add any liquid so that they um, crisp up a lot faster in the dehydrator. So let's see if this works. So I have my dehydrator sheets with the Paraflex sheets on it so that it doesn't go through the grid. And I have a little spatula that makes it really easy for spreading things. I'm just mashing this all together. So I'm just kind of mashing it all together so that it hopefully stays together. The uh, chia seeds and flax seeds should start to swell up and really get this to stick together. But this will keep it from getting too crumbly. Then I just take my straight blade and I just kind of push up the edges because the edges are going to get done faster so I don't want them to be all scraggly and get too crispy. So I'll just go around all the edges and do that and I'll stick it in the dehydrator. So here they are in the dehydrator. I'm just going to put it on 1 on 5 for a few hours and see what happens. So I wanted to show you really quickly how I transfer this so that it dries faster. So I take my blank sheet, place it on top, and then flip it over. And then I pull the other one up and I slowly peel that away. There you go. So now it's a lot more airflow and it's gonna dry a lot faster. Okay, so they're all done. See, they got really nice and thin. You hear that crunch? Nice and crunchy. So you can use these, you can put them on top of your salads like little croutons or, or you can use them for dip. You can use them as little crusts and make little bread. You can use them for all sorts of things and then you didn't waste all of that fiber that you got out of your juice. It's perfect. Enjoy. If I had blended them just a little bit longer in the food processor, they would have been a little bit less chunky looking, but they still work nonetheless, so either way it works fine. I think I'll try mine with a little salad. Mmm. So tasty. <laughs> 